Prime was really searching for the next stage in its digital resources. We wanted to find a solution that was far less prescriptive than simply telling all staff and all learners that they had to use a web page scenario. So we were looking for something that allowed us to build on the, what was pretty excellent practice already, but to free that up and make it far less prescriptive. So we wanted learners, staff, etc. to be using their phones, using their iPads, but not in a false uh, prescriptive way that the technology department drove. We wanted to provide a tool that teachers and learners could use in a myriad of different ways, but a way that suited the particular environment they were working in. And I think within eLockers we found that. As a technologist, I can give them the underlying structures, but the teachers, the learners, the groups that are built within it can shape it as they wish. So a, an activity could be uh, happening as a photograph taken through an iPhone in a practical lesson and uploaded straight into eLockers as a capturing of a piece of assessment. It could be, in a more traditional sense, a uh, piece of structured questions that were set through a web page type scenario, but then actually delivered through the iPad app. So the iPad is then used as, if you like, the consumption tool. That feedback could then be given through something like Explain Everything and then re-uploaded into the eLocker. The eLocker is the conduit. It's not the, the end result. And that's what excites me about the way in which eLockers is taking what was a good underlying digital confidence and releasing that into a far wider spectrum of staff and students.